Hello friends, and welcome to this presentation. This is Reason. We stopped here in the previous lesson, and in this lesson, we will be continue by applying load on this uh, uh, steel polymers, carry out analysis, design all the structural members, and then we will also design the foundations of this simple structure. So let's get started. If you have any question, drop it at the comment section. And don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So freezing. So let's proceed. At first, we wouldn't want to have this cantilever here. Yeah? So we select this particular thrust, right click, click on it, property. In the trust property dialog, we will navigate to we have our left can deliver 1000, change it to zero. After we click on it, okay, then we will be applying load on this polyne, the dead load and the life load. We will not apply it wind load because this is not an high rise structure, okay? So I will select the lines right click click on it property and I'll navigate to the way to the load tab right there so in the selected load cases you notice there is nothing in this provision the reason is because we have not set our load cases so I will close this right away and navigate to the loadings load cases and combination load generator you select there, we will be considering only vertical load and we want the program to <coughs> create different combinations for steel members. So we have to check that provision, it's very important. Click on OK and OK. All right, just like this, then we right click this time around again the property of the polyne, come back to load, and you notice we have G, right, which is the dead load. We add that and then we will. Have added load to be 0 0.25. Then in the all element row, we'll click in this provision and check L1 because that is the label of the load and click on the OK. So the load is being generated and applied successfully on the polines. Okay, so I will come to the selected load case provisions again and choose the Q live load. I'll add that. We will be adding 0 0.5. Yeah, just like this, and then in these provisions, select all and apply it just like this. So we have loaded the polyne successfully. After which, click on the OK. Now we will proceed to the analysis tab so we can be able to set the materials. Then, do the analysis in these provisions. I'll go to project parameters and then for the foundations. We'll be having 120 kilonewton per square meters. The title, you can fill in the title made by and checked by successfully. If you come to this site, you see the codes that we use. This is the hero codes, right? For the wind load, we have this code, but we don't have to apply wind load in this structure, so you can remove that successfully. Click on OK and Yes option. For the material editing, click on the material editing. All right, go to the foundations, the strength of the concrete, we will use 20 slash 25 strength of concrete applied to all, just like that. And for the steel grade, we will use this, apply to all. We will have foundations, reinforcement, 12, 16 and 20 selected, just like this, okay. You go to the default material, you make changes to this concrete strength and the steel grade. For the reinforcement for columns, the minimum will be 16 and the maximum will be 25, just like this. Okay. For reinforcement for the beam, we also have the minimum to be 16 and the maximum to be 25. For the slab, we have 12 and 16.
the 16 and 10, just like that, okay? For the links, we will consider 8 and 10 successfully. All right, so after which, we'll go back to the foundation again and confirm this. Remove thirty two, remove twenty five. We'll be having sixteen and twelve. Click on OK. OK again, and close this dialog. After which, save the project. Having the project saved successfully, we want to be commencing some necessary settings now. So go to the building set out. Then in the setting dialog, here we have uh, this uh, setting. Click right there, and then in the options dialog, expand the columns. Navigate to ribbons and expand it. Go to longitudinal bars. Click right there. Make sure that the column bar size minimum and maximum is selected successfully. Then come to beam provisions, come to parameters, ensure that the minimum bar size for beam is also selected. So this is not actually correct. We wouldn't want to be having all of this. So close this dialog right away and go back to material again, analysis and building analysis. Edit the material for the beams. Select right there, uncheck this. We want to have only 16 and 20, 25, right? Just like this, click on OK. Check every other ones, they're intact. Click on OK. Close this dialog and save this project again. These settings are necessary so we can be able to design this structure successfully. Go back to view the setout, setting, setting center. Check the beams parameter again. You will notice minimum boom steel. Diameter not selected, so it's selected to be 60 and then the maximum as well, just like this. Okay, you can also check the links to make sure that the links are also selected the 8 for minimum and 10 for maximum, just like this. Go straight away to slab. All right, use center line span, use clear span. All right, look at rebar again, make sure this is selected. Okay. The minimum spacing and the maximum spacing is also intact. We'll check design. All right. Check the rebar again and the appearance. Okay. All of these are intact. Select the foundations. These foundations will be using 16 here because we wouldn't want to uh, have a double reinforced uh, footing. So you uncheck these provisions, these two provisions. All right. Then in this place, you can select a rectangular or square columns here. Yeah. Okay. So all the settings here are now in place. You just have to click on OK. And once you click on OK, you save the project. Now we want to run the analysis of this structure. To go to the analysis tab, we will be considering static analysis and as well as finite element raft foundation analysis because we are deciding. Any slab that is below that is on the soil is already designed as raft in this program. All right, so click on the building analysis, go to the analysis tab straight away and check the structure if there is any error in this structure. So we are having zero error. Click on close. All right, building analysis, design the column. Once the program to design the uh, beam reinforcement as, as well as the steel. So checking this, you are authorizing the program to analyze and design all these structural elements. So click on the building analysis. We'll give the program some seconds to run and complete this analysis successfully. Alright, so build analysis is completed successfully. So relative story draft satisfies the limit, alright? And relative stories draft satisfy the limit, alright? In the both direction one and two. So we click on OK. After which you click on closed. So actually close these provisions. And then you can also close this as well. So this is the 
analytical model. Okay, we activate it and the fluctuations on us. Well, as the uh, bend movement, activate the diagram right there and then click on the M33. Here we have the bend movement diagram of the structure. Now we get back to the story. Okay, we can close this right away. So we check the members to see if they are actually past the design. Select this T for line, right click and click on T member design. So you can see in these provisions that all the members have passed design successfully. The utilization ratio you can see right there. Okay. The same thing applicable to the structural members. Okay, you can actually navigate to the columns right there. And I check the columns uh, design. Notice the columns have not been designed. And so we want to use the bash mode design to redesign the column. To calculate, we choose text T bar, select T bar when previous are not are insufficient. It has not still designed. Go to column and bash mode again. We select all bars. So all have been designed now successfully. You can see. Except this one that is failing. But this is not an issue. Alright. So we'll close this right away for the beams. At the first level. Let's check if it has designed. So click on that. The beam has been designed successfully. But one thing I want to reveal to us is that the beam at the foundations have not been designed. So if I go to the foundation, the design tab and then I come to the foundations beam or the split beam, click right there, you notice this beam has not been designed. And also if I should enable story zero and then navigate to the plan view of story zero. If I try to draw a strips, slab strips here, you notice that it will not work out because this slab is directly on the soil. And so we have to use finite elements analysis to design it. In order for us to be able to generate slash strips on, for, on this for this uh, structure, so if I should navigate to the modeling tab, I click on the slash strip right there, analytical slash strip, I choose bob to bob in the x directions, and I take the first point, I go up, across, select the second point. You see, it's not generating uh, slip, uh, it's not generating reinforcement. The reason is because we are supposed to use finite element analysis. Any slab that is on the soil is required finite element analysis uh, design for the reinforcement to be actually uh, generated so let's de delete that right away and we want to be drawing the finite element strips now so come to these provisions and then in the type we'll select um fe strips okay in this uh, fe uh, tab uh, we'll select the first one uh, span strips we just select that come back to these provisions we choose bob to bob and then in the direction X, we will get the strips drawn. Just like this. After we should get to the direction Y. Sorry, that's not too correct. You zoom closely, click right there, and then draw this. So after getting this drawn successfully, we are set to carry out the finite element analysis design. So you just click to save the project first. If there's any question, drop it at the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, so we'll proceed to the analysis tab, and then we will be using FER Foundations Analysis, this one. So click right there. So in these provisions, right away, it includes column uh, sections and it also use some grid. Then click on the raft foundation mesh and analysis. So the process is in progress. Preparing finite element model processing slab as well. So this has been processed successfully. You just have to click on this uh, generate model. So after which, what we need to do is, we we'll just have to close this dialog to transfer this and perform finite elements lab analysis, which it is in progress.
So this will transfer us to the post processing, which it has transferred to post processing and report. So yeah, this is the allowable soil bearing uh, pressure. So for the uh, analysis post processing, you just have to click on that. All right, so in this provision now, we will now start the real analysis, but by then we will need to activate a standard contour. This one, just choose that to activate standard contour. All right, so we want to, we wouldn't want to use define uh, user defined contour. This user defined contour will actually helps us to, you know, it will help us to be able to select the enforcement. But since we have drawn our strip strips, okay, the strips now will help us. The strips that we've drawn will help us to do that. So we wouldn't want this, okay. So what we need to do, we just have to start the uh, design. So we'll follow the moment in the uh, global directions, X and Y. Then in the local directions, M1, 2, and 12, you just have to click on that. Then the design moment using with an armor, bottom, bottom, top, and top. You have to be checking the response in the key right away. Okay. so. We have a required steel area. Bottom one, bottom two. So this is the critical crit uh, steel area. All right. Top one, top two. The required steel area using wood and armor. Top one. All right. Top two. All right. That is bottom two. Top one and top two. So after the most of check this, you see there is nothing is failing at this moment. Okay, so for the soil pressure, also check that to see the effectiveness of the soil. So over here, everything is okay. For the threshold, you check that to see the effectiveness. So since everything is fine, click on the export to expand this contour successfully. Then after we close this. Then you have to transfer the strips, the slab strips, after analysis results. So click on OK options to get it transferred successfully. The transfer is actually in progress. That's of seconds. It will be completed successfully. So it will take us back to the post analysis processing and report. This time around, we click on the transfer foundation beam result. So click right there. Foundation beam result has been transferred successfully. So click on close. So at this time, we want to be generating the reinforcement for this. So what we just need to do, just have to click on this update steel bars, or you right click and then you come to this uh, arrange all steel bars and select update steel bars. It's still the same thing. So once you select that, the reinforcement. To save the project first. So once you select up the steel by the reinforcement is being generated successfully, you can see. Alright. So that is it. So we have successfully generated reinforcement for this lab. As you can see. Alright, then for the uh split beam, you go to the design tab and then you select foundations beams this one so these are the foundation beams you can see as story zero right there use beam design bash mode and then check steel bars so let's new steel when previous bar are insufficient calculate so you closed so you can see the beam now is designed successfully all right so this is the utilization ratio and everything is good now click on close if you want to see the sections of these beams, all right, you can't quickly come to uh, drawing and report. The drawing and report, foundations, beams, if you click in these provisions, it will give you the preview of all the foundation beams successfully. 
So this is the foundation being designed successfully. All right, you can see. And so you can go back to the drawing and report. Close this tab. If you want to check the columns, also all the story beams. You have only story one. Click on the OK options. So this is the story beams designed successfully. You can see, all right? After which, we will close this tab, and the design is completed successfully. So this is how you can carry out a simple design, all right? For the foundations, you just have to navigate to Story Zero. Okay, get this column selected, right click and click on insert part footings. Alright, so we have a footing, a square foot in size, one meter by one meter. If you come to this 3D and then you rotate it, this is your footings designed successfully for that particular columns. All the checks are passed successfully, click on OK. So insert the footing right away, just like that. The same thing is applicable. All of these ones, all right. We can't okay. So, with the same method, you can be able to insert all your footage successfully, as you can see. So, we have carried out design successfully. If you want to produce the drawings, you just have to click on this for the reinforced concrete drawing. You click on Prota Detail. Yes, option to save the project. So this will automatically launch the Prota Detail. Then for the steel connection design, we will use Prota Steel, this one, to carry out the steel connection design. Maybe we will do that in the next lesson. Drop your questions at the comment sections. If you have any questions, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So we will be using Auto Generate Details. We are very okay with all of these settings. So we we'll click on draw and then we place our drawings. So these are the drawings. You can see the foundations, the column plan layout, the columns, and as well the beams. This is the foundations. Okay, so we have successfully produced drawing for this uh, design. We will have to stop here. Let me continue in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and stay tuned. See you in the next lesson and stay safe. Bye for now.